today I'm presenting something which is in the range of leaks, but not exactly the Mewtwo stuff. Now, I know some people were kind of criticizing, or, or maybe not criticizing rather, but just making fun of that whole thing that I posted about the Nintendo Direct leak earlier this year, where it was basically just a picture of a fucking sheet of paper that was posted, that was posted on 4chan. I gave it some credibility because mainly after the 2014 Smash Brothers Summertime leaks, I just kind of felt like, you know, you can't just discredit it totally. Well, we have another similar case scenario today. I may just be going over my head with this one, but apparently on 4chan, which by the way, Tony Cordero shouted me out to this. This guy's been helping me out a lot actually, just follow him. But anyways, um, in terms of the 4chan leaks, I know they should be taken with a grain of salt and I shouldn't even be giving them that much credit, but you just can't totally excuse those times where leaks did happen on 4chan. And you know, the Smash 2014 summer leaks are just one of many. There's been plenty of times on 4chan where something was debuted way earlier than it should have been. And that's why I don't want to totally discredit 4chan. I mean, sure, you can't really take everything that you see on there seriously, but there could very well be some merit to this one. Now, he linked me to this and it was archived. I'm not actually exactly sure when. I think it was yesterday, actually. All right, so as you can see right here, we're on the 4chan archive. And this was posted yesterday, March 28th, it's 29th now, and it was posted around um, 10 p.m. So apparently this is a leaked direct list. So let's take a look at exactly what it entails. I saved my first reaction for you guys as usual. So let's see what's going on here. So Nintendo Direct for April 1st, 2015. Oh my God, that almost kills the credibility right there. The Direct is scheduled for April 1st, April Fool's Day, seriously. It seems so, it seems so trolly, but I mean, we're gonna read through some of it and see what's going on. It's probably a long list, so let's take a look. Nintendo Direct for April 1st, 2015. Um, let's see what's going on. Bowser, Wii U, Mario, Luigi, and Peach have been kidnapped by a mysterious new villain and it's up to Bowser and company to save them. Sounds like an interesting idea. I'm not even into the Mario series too much, but if Bowser's in charge, I actually have a preference for Bowser over Mario. You know, I can see myself playing a Bowser game over that. I do like the Mario villains more, and a lot of people attribute my hate for Mario as of hating the series or whatnot. It's not about that. When I was growing up as a kid, I didn't play Mario. I played Wario Land. Oh, not Wario Land. Was it, was it Wario Land 2? Wario Land 1? Well, Wario Land 1 and then 2. And then I had Super Mario and the Six Golden Coins, which featured Wario as the main villain. So, I mean, I kind of got used to playing as the antagonist in the Mario series. And I always felt like they didn't really give Wario too much spotlight in that original form that he had because they didn't start doing the WarioWare thing, which is cool. But I preferred Wario in his earlier days when he was like an active enemy in the Mario franchise. Um, Mario Maker, the new feature entitled Music Maker, allows players to create custom music for their levels using the same instruments and sounds as past Mario titles. That sounds like a very practical thing for them to do. So, you know, so far I'm not seeing anything on this list that screams false. The Bowser Wii U thing for some people might, but we're good so far. The latest in the Fire Emblem series, an atrocious being has arose from the darkness to cause major disorder and injustice during colonization of a continent recently dubbed Magbo. In turn, fierce warriors rise in a journey to obtain the necessary relics to protect the country. Okay, I mean, like I said, not too much merit. I'm not gonna go too ham on this, but I mean, so far, okay. Amiibo, the newest wave of Amiibo will launch this April. It includes Robin, Lucina, Charizard, Wario, Pac-Man, and Ness. There'll also be, oh really, um, what's strange is, actually no, no, yeah, what's strange though is that the release date that we saw apparently for the Amiibo before was April 24th. So maybe this is legit. But then again, the April 24th release date is public knowledge now. So of course this thing would say that. So it looks more legit. Um, there will also be a restock of Mark and Ike compatible with Codename Steam. We already knew this. Along with that, there will be male and female Link Inkling Amiibo released to coincide with the launch of Splatoon. And this is actually news that I can get excited about because Splatoon is a game that I'm really hyped for. I'm interested in seeing what the multiplayer online aspect of the game is going to be. And, I, and I'm and i hoping to God that this game can be the FPS, or not the FPS, the third person shooter that I need in my life. I know GTA 5 coming up for PC is gonna be a game I'm playing a lot, but Splatoon will hopefully be up there as well too. The fact that we're getting Amiibo of the characters is pretty badass because there seems to be a lot of people that do like the female avatar in uh, Splatoon, so 
it's it's kind of cool and fresh that they're bringing them to the amiibo form i definitely don't have any problems with it i would have really liked to see splatoon as a downloadable um dlc character in smash brothers but oh well then again the opportunity is always it the opportunity is always there because mewtwo being dlc lets us know that sakurai can give new characters later on down the line for smash brothers wii u and 3ds without a problem Mewtwo doesn't exist on the game in any way as a character. So if he can be put in a whole new separate character added into the game without any prior data in the game, then he can put anyone in there. Splatoon, Shrek, you name it. Yoshi's Woolly World. Scanning a Yoshi amiibo gives Yoshi a special ability that can only be used once a day in any level. Wait, only be used once a day in one level. Any enemy swallowed during that level produces a mega egg dozer that can defeat enemies and clear paths easily. Miro from the Super Mario series provide Yoshi with an accessory of that character's design. Okay. Sounds like some practical stuff. You know one thing that I have to give Nintendo accolades on is the fact that they're trying to implement their amiibo so effectively to make their purchasing of games look that much more appealing to people, you know? And I, I, I gotta say, it's impressive because they know for a fact that the competing figurines like, um, what is it, um, Disney... I don't, I don't even know the fucking name of that. I think it's Infinity, Disney Infinity, and um, the whole thing with Spyro. What, what, what is, I, I don't know these things off the top of my head, but they know that their competition utilizes their figurines in the gaming extremely well. So props to Nintendo for trying to make their Amiibo work with their games so much. It, it's, it's impressive. Uh, Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 2 will be available in May and will feature Isabelle Villager and Dry Bowser. Really now, Dry Bowser as a character in Damn, okay. They will also come with four new vehicles and two new cups, which feature eight tracks. There's also an upcoming update that adds 10 new Mii costumes compatible via Amiibo. Damn, so if this, if this leaked, um, if this leaked list is correct, then yeah, Mario Kart 8 users could be getting a whole lot. Of, it seems like they're getting a lot of content because I don't know how this is, I don't, I mean, it seems like characters, new characters like Villager and whatnot are significant. And apparently you guys are getting like a ton of levels and new costumes as well too. So I mean, hey, if this direct list is true, I, I wouldn't be too mad at it. It's got a lot of stuff coming up. Pokemon Ranger, the Crimson Eon. A vile group of individuals has formed a team that intends to control the world using the power of Pokemon. As a Pokemon Ranger, it is your duty to stop them at all costs. How well did the Pokemon Ranger series do? I know that it had a lot of sequels because it, 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 I, I think it did well. I think it did really well. But they stopped making them after the, the DS, right? I don't think we have one on the 3DS yet, do we? Let me, let me not eat my words here. 3DS Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Alma. Almia. I don't think they had one for the 3DS yet. Yeah, I don't think they have them for the new console. So, I mean, it's understandable. It's a little bit strange, though, that they're going back to a game that was kind of left alone for such a long time. But I can see it being a practical choice by Game Freak. Um, it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting, like, a main series game. I, but then again, you know, it's too early. A lot of people did point out to me that May was when Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was announced last year. So you can't judge too early. You know, it, it seems like they're not really, like, set to release like a trailer or something for a new Pokemon game that early in the year if they really didn't want to. They can release it in the summertime, I guess, if they really wanted. But so far, we don't have anything. So this Pokemon Ranger thing could be true. Star Fox, during a mission in space, the Star Fox team accidentally is sent through a wormhole back to Andross' second attack on Corneria. They must, wait, until they can locate and develop technology to control a wormhole back to the time, they must reenact all the previous events. Oh, okay then. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a title for it, according to this list, but it seems like a cool concept, going back in time. Always a nice little, um, always a nice little plot enhancer, you know? So, it works. Smash Brothers for Wii U Miiverse stage. We know that, okay. Tournament mode, Mii mode, and custom mode release. Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U, Brains and Brawn. What the hell is going on? It seems believable. Very underwhelming. I'll definitely admit that. Um, the list doesn't really seem like it gives us anything too impactful. Considering that it is a Nintendo Direct though, they're probably saving all their big guns for E3 since this is a oddly, isn't E3 in like the summertime around June or July? So them releasing a Nintendo Direct and giving us all that juicy information before E3 wouldn't really be a good business move. So this is probably just to whet our appetites and then once E3 happens, that's when we're gonna get the big bombs. Probably gonna get a whole lot of follow-up on Splatoon and Xenoblade Chronicles X. 
because of course, as you know, watching me say, talk about this list, I was looking out for anything Xenoblade related. I don't see anything here so far, so I mean, it's all good though. Nothing here really turns me on too much except for the Amiibo support with Splatoon. Um, Amiibo support for Splatoon adds... Wait, I didn't even read this part, did I? Amiibo support with Splatoon adds minor items and weapons from certain games the characters you scan are associated with. This will assist your character's performance in a variety of different ways. It seems practical. I mean, Splatoon getting Amiibo support is almost like a no-brainer at this point, so... They're really pushing that game too, so of course they're going to include Amiibo in some form or fashion. Maybe you can get like costumes or something, or even like abilities. It'll be interesting to see. But what do you guys think of this Nintendo Direct leak list? It seems very underwhelming in a sense. There's a lot of good stuff here for everybody. I'm not even gonna lie. I shouldn't say it's underwhelming, but there's really not as much of a as a ball buster that usual leak list, fake leak list on 4chan have. So it may just be legitimate. I mean, I don't know, there's really no kind of way to say that this would be legitimate. It's, sim it's simply just somebody just taking the goddamn random stuff that they came up with in their head and then just putting it on 4chan. And then, but I mean, it did get archived. And there's a lot of people that I guess do believe in it simply because it is somewhat of an underwhelming list. Like, I, I, when I say underwhelming, I shouldn't, I don't mean it as if like the list has no significance. There's a lot of great stuff on here, but there doesn't seem to be one super glaring fault that's unbelievable. Like, it doesn't really seem like this Nintendo Direct, according to the leaker, is going to have something game-changing or monumentally different from the standard stuff that we know Nintendo will most likely do with their upcoming titles. That's what I feel, though. I guess if there was something incredibly game-breaking, like, oh, and Lucas is a DLC character, too, then obviously the list would be invalidated pretty quickly. I mean, because a lot of people just don't believe that's going to happen. But with a lot of these leaked lists, something like that usually is on them. So the fact that nothing like that is here, and all this seems like the steps that Nintendo would naturally take in their titles, it, got, it adds some credibility in that itself, but it's still not believable. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.